Hey guys, it's Silver Zero Breaks here, and today we're continuing our SP Authentic week, and we got the 2017-2018 SP Authentic Hockey. Let the break begin. What's going on guys, it's Silver Zero Breaks here, and today, we got the SP Authentic 2017-2018. Um, now, I just wanted to continue on this theme in anticipation of the new release. So I thought, let's open up another one of my favorite products, but this time just from a different year. Now, the only thing with the 2017-2018 set is that it doesn't exactly have the best crop of rookies. It does have some good ones like Brock Besser, but um, overall, not the most impressive list. Uh, but that being said, the big chase in this is the Connor McDavid Young Guns buyback. Now, from back in eight, uh, 2018, there was like a little thing that kept track of the buyback, and it seemed as though uh, 58 of the 97 were already claimed by then. So the chances of landing one now is pretty slim. So, you know, but it doesn't hurt to give it a try. And worst case scenario, there's some future watch autos to collect in here. The last box I opened, I got a little bit lucky. I ended up with three autographs instead of two, so that was pretty good. One of them being the Tyson Jost future watch auto, which isn't too bad. So I was pretty happy with that one. And as for the movie recommendation of the day before I continue with the break, I got The Accountant. Um, Mostly because the trailer was quite impressive, but uh, I went out to check out the movie and I actually liked it a lot. It was action-packed and it had solid acting from the entire cast of the movie. Um, and yeah, definitely worth checking out if you get a chance. And uh, I'm always a huge fan of Anna Kendrick, so any movie she's in, I'm probably happy to check out. So let us begin with the hockey break. So. Got the trusty knife here to get things going. Um, I hope you guys are all doing well, staying safe out there. And uh, let me know in the comments down below how excited you are about SP Authentic, at least the new release anyway. Now in this box here, there are 18 packs per box, uh, five cards per pack, and we should be expecting two autos in here. Uh, Got that little explanation about the Banty program, which I will likely not participate in. So yes, let's see how we go with the autographs. So two autographs in total, one is at least guaranteed to be a future watch auto, and the rest, well, we'll have to see. Pack number one. Kicking things off with Patrick Wall. Ryan Strom, and we have a uh, series update of Peter Mrazek. Again, I actually forgot he even played with the Flyers. All right, we got Jake Gensel and Ivan Provorov. Just refreshing my memory there. Okay, we got Vladimir Tereshenko, Jaden Schwartz, and where do you got our future watch? Auto, our first one, of Gabriel Carlson of the Blue Jackets. There you go. The first one of hopefully a few more. We got Jamie Benn and Bo Horvat. I mean, it certainly wouldn't hurt to get a Brock Besser. I mean, that would be nice. Kaylor Yamamoto would be nice too. Anyway, Nikita Kutro, Mika Rantanen, and we got a future watch FX of Luke Kunin, and that's a level two. And of course, for the Banty program, we got Austin Matthews and Anze Kopitar. We got Michael Granlund, Patrick Line, and authentic moments of the Detroit Red Wings. There you go. We got a decoy here, Jakob Voracek, and the flower.
Now, what are the chances that their Miss David card would show up here? Huh? I noticed a, a, an ongoing theme with myself is the more I want something, the less likely it will show up. <laughs> anyway, we got Alexander Wenberg, Gabriel Landeskog, and a rookie year milestones of Larry Murphy. Wow, he looks so young back in the day. <laughs> there you go, Larry Murphy. You got Genny Kuznetsov and Tut Karask. Yes, he is known for his deadly farts. We got Dustin Bufflin, Johnny Hockey, Thetic Moments of Henrik Sedin. First Canuck becomes the first Canuck in a thousand point club. Look at that. Very nice. We got the great one and Patrick 20 Cent Kane to the middle pass. Uh, okay. Did not rip off very cleanly. All right, we got the Jackal, Neo Nita Rider, and a Young Guns update of Kyle Chris Cuolo. Not too familiar with him. Probably not doing much in the NHL. We got Tyler Sagan and Brendan Saad. So glad these uh, packs are easy to open. We got Ryan Kesler. Joe Pavelski in a very nice Spectrum FX of Mitch Marner. There we go, another bounty card. We got Mark Shifley and Mark Giordano. Back to back marks. All right, we got Bobby Lou, Mike Hoffman, and I think that's the future watch. But that's not an autograph one. So this is a future watch of Callie Rosen. Also didn't really end up being all that much. Just a depth guy for the Leafs and then they traded him away. Anyway, so that's another future watch there, but not the auto. We got Nico Hischier, Authentic Moments, when he went first overall. And Nick Bonino. Looks like a decoy in this one. We got Pavel Burry in the very nice looking Canucks uniform. Um, Steven Stamkos. Ooh, sign of the times of Zach Hyman. Nice. For a person that also sort of supports the Leafs at the same time, I'm pretty happy with that. And uh, certainly one of those players that uh, really complements the top players very well on the team. So Zach Hyman, huge fan. All right. That's cool. We got P.K. Subban and Colton Pareko. All right, so we got our two autos. So I'm not sure if that's it. Hopefully there'll be one more, but we'll have to see. We got Ryan Johansson, Victor Hedman, and a rookie year milestones of Timu Solani. There we go. Huge fan of uh, the Finnish Flash. We got Willie Nylander and Vincent Trocek. Last pack in the middle. We got Sid the Kid, Artemi Panarin, Authentic Moments of Colton Sissons. There you go. We got Mitch Marner and Matt Murray. To the pack on the right. Okay, we got Jason Pominville. Henrik Sedin. Is that, oh, that stick looks a bit funny on that one. But anyway, we got a red of Jordan Eberle, Patrick Marlowe, and Marcus Johansson. All right, we have Thomas Tata, Wayne Simmons, rookie year milestones of Gino. Brad Marchand, and Ben Bishop. All right, we're reaching towards the end of this break. We're close to it anyway. We got Henrik Lundqvist, Jonathan Taves, and a uh, Upper Deck Series update of Thomas Tata. 
when he was with the Golden Knights, temporarily. Uh, Connor McDavid and Pavel Sacha. Okay, we got Ryan O'Reilly, Henrik Zetterberg, and a red of Cam Atkinson. We got Devin Dubnik and Duncan Keith. Second to last pack. These don't open very cleanly. All right, we got Taylor Hall, Riley Smith. Huh, interesting. A little bit of a retro card here. The number one draft. Uh, retro of Connor McDavid. That's pretty cool. So that's a nice little retro card of Connor McDavid. Happy to get that. Why not? We got John Gibson and Yarmer Yager. Last pack mojo. Doesn't look like we got a patch, so let's see if we can uh, save the insert for last. Hopefully it'll be something good, but we'll have to see. Get rid of the decoy while we're at it. All right. We got Logan Couture, Noah Haddonfin, Eric Carlson, Christian Dvorak, Eh, it's a duck, so why not? We got a red of Corey Perry. So it looks like no odds were broken in this one, so we only got the two autos. But uh, in terms of, I guess you can say hits in this box, we got a future watch of Callie Rosen. We got some nice Spectrum FX cards of uh, Luke Coonan and Mitch Marner. We got... Uh, the Young Guns of Kyle Criscuolo. Very nice. A little retro of uh, Connor McDavid. Not quite the Young Guns buyback that I was hoping for. <laughs> uh, we got a Future Watch Auto of Gabriel Carlson. And I think the hit of the box. Sign of the Times, Zach Hyman. So there you go. That should make many Leafs fans happy. I quite like it. Anyway, if you do like what you see here, definitely give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what you think of this, whether I should get another box. Maybe try for that uh, buyback um, Young Guns. We'll see uh, if I'm feeling bold enough, I guess. Um, but yeah, hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, follow me on Instagram uh, at Silver Zero Breaks. I'll have more updates and photos over there just to keep you guys posted. And uh, I hope you guys are all doing well. And uh, thank you so much for taking the time to watch the videos. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.